Hi everybody, my name is Leon Chen and welcome back to the Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks channel. Today we're going to be talking about our Z170 HD3. Now we're going to do an unboxing and overview for you. So let's go around the box and we'll open up the contents to show you what you get when you purchase one of these and we'll talk about the board a little bit as well. So right from the front of the box you can actually see it has the Heroes of the Storm Arthas character on it. Now this is because this is actually one of our limited edition retail packaging that you guys can get right now out in the market. So let's see what else we have on this board. For the Z170 HD3, it is using that Intel Z170 chipset. It supports that LGA 1151 socket and of course that new DDR4 platform. Now let's bring it around to the rear to see what else this motherboard has. It has two-way Crossfire multi-graphics support as well as it supports the new NGFF for M.2s. It also has uh, audio, high end audio capacitors as well as our audio noise guard with LED and then different various features such as SAT Express for next generation connectivity as well and then this board actually supports 8 channel audio. So let's open it up and then we'll see what you get. Alright so this is everything that you guys will get out of the box. You're going to be getting a user's manual, two SATA connectors, one being a right angle connector, a rear I.O an ultra durable badge for you to place on that case and also the Intel driver disk as sorry a gigabyte driver disk for all the updated drivers that come with this board and then also the G connector and we'll talk about this a little bit later as well and also because it is a limited edition uh, Heroes of the Storm packaging box you actually get a door hanger to actually stop people from disrupting you if you're actually trying if you're trying to focus or play any games and also a little pamphlet that gives you more information about our sweepstakes ending December 31st with the opportunity to win a chance to BlizzCon and also other awesome prizes such as mice, headset and other items as well. So here's some of the other accessories. Let's get down to the board and we can show you guys what comes on it. Overall for this board, the Z170 HD3 you have the support for that 6th generation core processor. This is an LG, LGA 1151 socket as we mentioned earlier. Support for 4 DDR4 RAM slots. Your ATX24 pin connector. 2 front panel USB 3.0 connectors totaling a 4 USB front panel connectors for you to use. And then also on the side natively for the Skylake platform it actually supports 3 SATA Express connectors. So this is for next generation storage. Once those SATA Express drives comes out into the market, it's definitely something that you can use for it. Gigabyte also has some other accessories that can be used with the SATA Express connector, so definitely check out our site as well. We also have the front panel pin headers, uh, and this the pin headers, this is where that G connector comes into place. Earlier we showed you that in the box it comes with the G connector, and it actually allows you to connect your chassis pin headers directly into the connector to have a lower Z height and to actually allow you to place it all in place before putting it on the board that's already seated inside your case. Now this one's also useful because it has clips that hold on to those pin headers so when you're actually trying to remove one only the whole connector will come out and you can actually adjust it accordingly to what you need versus having this connector stuck inside your pin header slot. Okay. Right next to it we have two USB 2.0s and then we also have your TPM for the trusted platform module. We have LPT pin headers so if you need that legacy support for printers, uh, something else that you might want to connect it to, this is here for you. We also have a COM port as well as your front panel audio. Now right here is our audio section so you see that high end audio capacitors right there as well as our audio noise guard that goes up along the board right here. This board also has two PCI Express slots as well as two PCI slots and an additional two PCI Express by ones. So you're able to do crossfire off of this board as well if you need to multi graphics if you're using any of those AMD cards. We also have a 32 gigabit per second M.2 connector. So if you're planning on using those next generation form factors, you don't want to use a SATA Express or a SATA drive, you can actually use this for a higher throughput. This actually has a bandwidth of up to 32 gigabits per second, where SATA Express is only at 16, and your traditional SATA being at 6 gigabits per second if you're using SATA 3. So that's very useful for you too. Now let's switch around the back and we'll show you that rear I.O. 
So overall for the rear I.O., we still have that traditional PS2 port. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't like to see that there, but it's something to provide to those users that want to use special keyboards or mice and have that faster response time. We also have two USB 2.0s right above that, a DVI-D, as well as a D-Sub right here, and then the HDMI right here as well. So all of these are, for, if you're using the onboard graphics, it's available to you to use. We also have an additional two USB 3.0s right here, and right below another two. So a total of four USB 3.0s on the back, and then of course the gigabit NIC right above it, and then your eight channel speaker connectors. All right. So this basically sums it up for the board right here. And if you guys are interested, definitely check it out our out our Gigabyte site. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, like and subscribe our channel. And there's definitely links below to giving you guys more information. Let us know what you guys think and we'll be ready for more.